Hi, my name is Steven Davids and in this video I will discuss how to manage cases in Google Spreadsheet. One often has to refer a few times or do a few inputs into cases such as appeals, operational health and safety issues, incidents, security incidents, disciplinary cases, grievances and contracts. We manage these cases with the help of the add-on form ranger. The first step is to set up your form with some mandatory fields. The first mandatory field what we need is a project name. In our cases because we work with many projects, our project name consists of a company name with a descriptor and these descriptors and company and project names can be for an engagement, project or an event. These two fields are required. You set it as a required field and then also as another required field at the end of the form you ask the person do they want to continue with the engagement. Yes or no? Here is the form view of the required fields, name of the organization and the descriptor. At the end of the form we have the required question do you want to continue with the engagement? The second step is to go back to the spreadsheet that is generated by the form and to set the spreadsheet up so that it can automatically generate a project name from the company name and the descriptor. And this you do in an array formula which then states as an array formula join the content of cell A with the content of cell B and do this with a separator and do this for all the cells in the columns. The third step is to go back to your form and to add some dummy data. The reason why you add these dummy data is because the add-on form arranger do not work and do not take empty fields and only headings. Your fourth step is to set up your spreadsheet to use form arranger. You go to your spreadsheet and then you formulate a query that says take the selection from A from A to E and then select E the project name where C the continue engagement where you continue with the engagement where that is yes and then you order it by the project name E in an ascending order and the zero is without a heading and then you have your breach column and in your breach column you will see you get some projects that are listed more than once. Apple, Oliver Lawyer, the Apple Oliver Lawyer, as well as Google, the Google Tango Children projects. Those are repeated more than once. And that is also the reason then why you have a breach column. Because you do not necessarily want to see 100 projects repeated one project 50 times repeated no you just want the project once that's all you need therefore you take go and you establish a unique column a column consisting of the unique continued projects and in order to get to the unique continued projects you get the query unique and this unique query then function 
as a coordinate function in g2 to g2000 whatever takes all the unique values all over one and then you will just get one value of that this over whatever value 10 times 50 times it is just repeated once so now you have unique values in here that form ranger can use personally i do not like to populate the data sheet where all my main data is with unnecessary data queries and functions however i start these extra queries and functions on the main page so that i can see it works thereafter i transfer it to another sheet and there i have my bridge column as well as the unique uh, data on sheet the next step is to incorporate form ranger into the data form you do this by having in your form a question is this a new case a new event a new whatever with a yes no answer if the answer is yes you go to the new go to section use this options then uh, go to section based on answer if the answer is yes you go to a section where that's a new event and complete the form as this is new if the answer is no go to section existing event and then in the existing event section section you then have question drop down or whatever multiple choice question that you then fill in with form ranger when you complete the form in the spreadsheet will then appear if you select no then they will google will create the column select case and then the next of the project that you selected will appear in that column if it is a new form however then you will have, there will appear nothing and for educational purposes I just put it here uh, close together and clean and neat the new case when it's a new case then there will be a nothing in the project selection that's created by Google if it is not a new case there will be a name of a project that you selected step 6 is to collect all the cases in one column the reason why you do need the column is because you will not complete any more the question name of the organization and the descriptor but you will go directly and select rather the name from the of the project from the project list as given by form ranger the result is that these rows within the project name column will be empty in addition, when you have the, the new case in the column for the existing project, these rows will be left empty and the fields will be left empty. Therefore, you need a column where you have all the projects that you accessed and used during the time and duration of the database the last step is to access your projects your events or your cases and then to mine your data 
this you do by your normal filtering of your data so now an example here maybe just select all the faces concerning Apple and there you have all the faces concerning Apple or the projects and then you can go into it and have all the data surrounding it. The other method then is to use the pivot tables. Here follows a summary of our discussions which you can print out and also then make a screen shot of. Here are the columns and the various headers that are in the formulas H and J and then column K all these columns are referred to in your formulas and here follows the formulas thank you very much for watching this video we appreciate constructive comments and feedback Please like this video. Thank you.